It's kind of pretty though. I know how far she'll go. Hi guys, today is my first like official day of summer technically because it's a Monday and I don't have school like it's my first week of summer And I'm literally so excited because as much as I love school and like seeing my friends at school and all Okay, would you be interested in like taking this? As I was saying, this video is gonna be a very random vlog type of video, first days of summer. I just wanna like document more of my life this summer because last summer I really didn't do a lot of summer videos. I didn't post a lot on YouTube, which is honestly so sad because last summer I did a lot of things, but I didn't post a lot of videos. I didn't make a lot of content. And now looking back, I really regret not making more videos and documenting more things. It is four. 22 right now so i haven't actually vlogged what i did today because i didn't really do anything interesting so this morning i woke up read my bible worked out went for a walk ate breakfast and then i did a bunch of online shopping and i placed a bunch of orders for things that i've been procrastinating ordering i don't know if anyone else does this but i am a huge online shopper like i love online shopping but then when it comes to actually placing the order there's something in me that just can not do it so i've had probably like 15 tabs open on my laptop for the past month or so of things that i've been meaning to order but i haven't ordered because for some reason it pains me to take money out of my bank account when it's like things for myself anyway so this morning i forced myself to go through and place a bunch of orders and i'm gonna place a few more later today because i felt like i just had to break it up a bit it was kind of a lot so yeah that's what i did this morning it was I don't know why that took me the whole morning. Also, I drove my sister and her friend to the thrift store. I'm trying to make it sound like I had a really productive day, but I didn't do a lot, which is okay. I have some plans today. I'm gonna be hanging out with some friends. We're gonna go see the new Spider-Man movie, which I'm very excited about. But until then, I need to actually try to be productive. So I'm gonna clean my room. I don't know why, but it seems like I can just never keep my room clean. Like it's always dirty. Not dirty as in actual dirt, but just there's always stuff on the floor. For example, this is what my room looks like right now. There's just stuff laying on the floor. There's stuff laying in corners. It's always like in the corners of the room. There's stuff here, there's stuff there. My sister and I always do this where we start washing our bedding. Like we strip off the bedding, we take it down to the laundry room, and then it takes a solid two days for it to actually get washed and then end up back on the bed. And then in the meantime, we just use random blankets to sleep on the mattress. And it's not very, it's not very ideal. I don't know why we always end up doing that, but it just kind of happens so i'm gonna go get the bedding i think it should be dry by now most of this stuff is things from school that i need to organize find a place for like my backpack i also went to the beach yesterday so i have a bunch of my beach stuff here that i need to put away organize i need to wash my swimsuit some clothes that i need to wash <sighs> this is so cute oh my goodness <laughs> I'm about to go leave for the movie theater with my friends. Super excited, we're gonna have a good time. Also, this is the current fit that I have going on, but I don't know how I feel about it because I haven't worn the sweater in so long. And it kind of reminds me of when I was like younger, a year or two ago, I don't know why. Cause it's a cute sweater and now I just, I don't, I don't know why I have a problem with it. Maybe it's the stripes, maybe it's giving like, where's Waldo, prison inmate, but I think it's cute. So I'm gonna wear it like, you know, we're just gonna push all these things aside. I just thrifted this shirt today, so. Okay, okay. I thrifted these pants also. And I got the, um, Yoko Dai, um, and every jewels. Okay, I kinda wanna bring one of these sweet potatoes. <gasps> Baby, so cute! So cute! Ooh! Oh, I'm gonna get my water bottle.
for it being a little too obvious. Please tell me it took it. No, it didn't. No, it didn't take it. It didn't take it. <laughs> oh, let's go. Wait, I'm just going to go. Okay. Right. Okay. 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 Hi guys, so I'm editing this video and I realized that I never gave you guys an update on like how I enjoyed this Red Man movie. To keep it short, I went and watched it again. It's literally so good. I loved it and I'm obsessed with the soundtrack. I've been listening to the soundtrack so much and yeah, if you have not watched the new Spider-Man movie and you're into that type of movie, you have to go watch it because it sorry that was a little harsh but like it's literally so good and the soundtrack at, at least do yourself a favor and listen to the soundtrack because i love the soundtrack um i'm gonna go now but good morning guys so it is a few days later actually it's one it's one day later. I didn't film yesterday because I literally didn't do anything interesting yesterday. I was editing and catching up on stuff. I feel like this entire week is kind of just me getting into summer mode and resetting and doing random stuff. Like I haven't been ultra productive. Right now I'm in my bathroom about to do my makeup and I'm trying to decide if I want to go for the like clean girl, no makeup makeup look or if I want to experiment and do something crazy because recently I've been wanting to kind of switch my makeup routine and I have so many TikToks saved of these girls that have immaculate makeup routines like their makeup looks so good so i kind of want to try one of those this video is sponsored by the one and only curology i feel like at this point i don't even need to introduce curology because i've already talked about them so much on my channel and you guys know how much i love them but if by some small minuscule chance you have never heard of curology they are a subscription-based company that makes custom products made specifically to fit your skin's needs so basically how it works is you go into curology's website and you take a little quiz answering questions about your skin your skin's needs uploading some photos of your current skin and from there you will be matched with a licensed dermatology provider who will help you create your custom formula and ship it right to your front door. One thing that I really appreciate about Curology is how simple they keep their skincare. It's just a three-step skincare routine. I know for me initially when I started getting into skincare, I got so overwhelmed because nowadays, especially with the internet, there is so, so, so much information about like skincare, what products are good, what products are bad, different skin types, all that stuff. And for me, it was super stressful trying to figure out what products to buy. Curology just really simplifies that and they have the base products that you can always rely on. Another thing that I always talk about with Curology that I love so much is their dermatology provider system. Like I mentioned earlier, you're matched with a licensed dermatology provider and that is like your dermatology provider that you can talk to, reach out to anytime if you have any questions or concerns about your skin. If you're interested in trying Curology, you can click the link in my description. I'm officially ready for the day and I will admit it took me way too long to pick out my outfit and I ended up picking out the most basic outfit ever. I was really trying to come up with something creative and unique. I was throwing clothes to the floor. Let me just show you guys my closet right now because it's kind of bad. As you can see, clothes everywhere. Okay, I'm being a little bit dramatic. It's not, there's not clothes everywhere, but there's a lot of clothes. I've been trying to channel my inner Matilda Jerf, so I literally just went to her Instagram and looked at the two most basic outfits that she wears. And this is usually what she wears. I'm definitely not pulling it off as well as she is, but at the same time, it's like, at the end of the day, you just gotta pick an outfit. I didn't end up doing anything too crazy with my makeup, but I did try a little bit of a different technique when I was putting my bronzer on, so I don't know how I feel about it. I feel like I look very bronzy, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because it's summer, and we're trying to go for that summer glowing type of look. Anyway, so right now me and Emily are gonna go to the city, go to a coffee shop. I have a video that I need to edit and she has some school work to do and I don't know exactly what she's gonna be doing, but we have stuff we need to work on. We need to be productive and I always feel like I'm way more productive when I go to a coffee shop and when I have a, a cute little drink. It's just something about the cafe environment that motivates me to be productive. Our original plan was to walk to the coffee shop because we both really love going on walks and I always see people on social media walking to places, like walking to their favorite coffee coffee shop in the morning and then just a few minutes ago we were like you know what no we're not gonna do that because we need to be productive and it will end up taking us two hours to get to the coffee shop and by the time we get there we'll be sweaty we'll be tired and we'll probably end up regretting it so maybe one of these days we will embark on that adventure and try walking to a coffee shop but I don't think today is the day because I feel like we're gonna end up regretting it and then we'll get grumpy and it just won't be the vibe wait oh <laughs> There has been a freaking wasp, and I keep forgetting it's there, and then coming over to the window. <sighs> so gross. Like, I'm trying to be quiet, because I really don't want it to scare it, or mainly I just don't want it to attack me, but look at 
Ew. I don't know if I should kill it or what to do, but it's really scary. We made it to the city and I've been trying to be more bold recently so I did street parking, paid for street parking, parked in the street because I'm trying to overcome my fear of parallel parking. Hi guys, so we are done at the coffee shop. We got a little bit of work done. So yesterday when I was online shopping, I was thinking about things that I want for summer. And one thing that I was thinking I really want is those like coastal cowgirl hats. Like they're really beachy. And I went to Urban Outfitters and I was like shopping around online and I realized that they're a little bit too expensive for me for a hat. Cause I'm just like, why are you $50? You're literally just a hat that I'm gonna wear maybe like three times. So then I was scrolling on TikTok and I saw this TikTok, TikTok, where basically this girl went into Hobby Lobby, got one of the little like hats there. I'm hoping it's not too expensive. I'm guessing it's not because it's Hobby Lobby. She got a hat. It was just like a really cute little cowgirl beachy type of vibe. And then she got a bunch of pearls and cute little decorative, decorative, I actually, decorate, decorative, decorative stuff and she just put it on the hat but it really inspired me to go to Hobby Lobby get hats decorate them and then tomorrow when we go to the beach we can wear a little coastal cowgirl hats and hopefully it'll be a vibe okay let's find the hats so not the hats oh over here hey this is not the vibe though um so that's not what we're going for mm. <laughs> Wait, I'll be there. My name's Emily Dutton. Okay. Farm away from y'all. It's so fun. I had a beef in your bones. You came in the pen with the van. Michaels. I brought these overalls and stuff for dinner. I like these. Hobby Lobby and we did not have any success at all. There's actually okay, we kind of did. Our original plan was to put all the beads onto the hats that we found, but we didn't find any hats. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna get the beads and then we'll go somewhere else. This and is we're what I got. very cute. <laughs> so we got the beads and then we were like, okay, we're just gonna go to a different store to get the hats. So we went to Michael's and we had no success at all. I think she got a few things. Do you want that? Oh yeah. Okay. okay. So I got this like uh, gem thing. It's definitely not real, but you know. For the necklace moment, yeah. very cute. And then I got this silver chain thing to go with it. Yes. So. This is what I got to put on my hat. I got three of these little necklace thingies. I don't know what they're called. Like, and I also got this, which is basically little pearls. And the plan is to put them on the hats if we find hats. We also went into Walmart. No success. Didn't find anything there. I don't know what it is about Walmart. I want to like Walmart because the prices are good, but the vibes in there, it's. The vibes are just not good. The vibes oh are terrible. It's a little haul of these snacks that we got. I'm just gonna go through very quickly because I'm very, I'm very tired and brain fogged right now, so I like can't form sentences. But we got this popcorn, white cheddar popcorn, and then we got a bunch of Celsius. And for the longest time, I was not a Celsius girly, and I don't know if I would still say I'm a Celsius girly because I, I don't like most of the kinds. Most of them just aren't really appealing to me. They're not good. Do you like? 
No, no. not really. Like most of them just kind of taste artificial, but when I was at the beach with my friends on Sunday, they got me a Celsius and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna try it. And it was this flavor, it's the kiwi, gu kiwi guava. It, it's literally so good. It doesn't have that weird artificial aftertaste that Celsius usually have for me. And it's so, sparkling too. Yeah, and it's sparkling, it's refreshing, it gives yeah. you energy. So I'm like, wait, there's definitely some sort of scandal with them being bad for you or something. They have niacinamide in them. But I don't really care because it tastes really good. So then we got these cookie thins, toasted coconut. These are literally so good. I don't really like coconut, but these slap. They're so good. Oh. We got these fruit strips. They're kind of like fruit roll-ups, but they're a little healthier. They're delicious. And then we got cheese strips. What are they called? String cheese. We got a bunch of string cheese. And yes. And I know I will be eating those up. I will be topping them. They I feel like we're both very just yeah, out of it I right now. I'm literally out. so. I don't know why I was out. As much as I love shopping, it definitely drains me, and we have been out and about for a few hours now, and I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. Also, this little guy. Look at him. He's so cute. This is Carl. He is the newest member of my little stuffies collection in my car. The temptation to eat these snacks. I'm so hungry. Hey, we got two cheese. Should we eat a cheese strip? Are you just menace? She's a menace to society. I feel the need to defend myself here. Um, this is something that I'm working on. It's something that I'm not perfect in. And sometimes I sometimes I do bite into the string cheese and it's embarrassing. I'm really sorry if I let anyone down. That was not my intention. Um, I just got really impatient and hungry and like this is something I'm working on because I'm not perfect at it. So I hope that we can move on <laughs> from this. Okay guys, so it is a little bit later and I have just been working on packing for the beach. Also, the most tragic thing happened to me this morning. I woke up, it was a beautiful morning, whatever, and I looked to the right, to the, to the side of me and this lamp, my beautiful mushroom lamp, was on the floor, broken. So I guess I accidentally knocked it over while I was sleeping or it fell off and it broke, which is just so sad because I absolutely love this lamp and I have literally an emotional attachment to it. So I will be purchasing a new one. As I already mentioned, I am working on packing up all my stuff for tomorrow. So far, this is everything that I have laid out. I got all my snacks here. And then I have the hat that's my mom's. I didn't ask her if I can wear it yet. So hopefully she says yes. If not, we'll make it work. It'll be okay. And then I have sunscreen, one for my face, one for my body. I have my wallet. I have my vlog camera. I'm also gonna make sure I have an extra battery. I'm also gonna be putting my vlog camera in this this little pouch and one thing that I found is really helpful like when you're going to the beach is having these little pouches to put all your stuff in especially stuff that you don't really want to get wet or sandy and then I have another one of these pouches and this is basically just all makeup and beauty products I literally bring this pouch with me everywhere that I go another thing that going to the beach on Sunday made me realize is a new beach essential for me is a speaker because it is such a vibe being on the beach and playing your music obviously not too loudly we're not gonna be disturbing people around us I'm gonna really try to go to bed early tonight because we have to wake up at 4 30 in the morning tomorrow which is so early but we have to leave the house at 5 30 like that's when our friends are gonna be meeting us at our house and the reason that we have to leave so early is because we live in Pennsylvania so we don't live right next to a beach we gotta leave the house early in order to make sure that you have time to like go get coffee go get breakfast get a nice spot on the beach have a decent amount of time to spend on the beach before you have to pack it up and go home so yes we will be leaving early in the morning I honestly really love morning drives and waking up early it's just like the first 30 minutes of waking up early that is kind of painful sometimes anything you want to say uh hey guys <laughs> we are just so ecstatic not focusing wow this is my dream come true. true this is the reason i became friends with you yeah this like, no, no, really, that's no, gonna no, leave no, 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 i'm just gonna leave that's the reason i became your yeah okay well now we're i'm just gonna jump jump out yeah do you love you We made it to the beach so and we were napping so I honestly can't think of anything to say because I'm so tired. <laughs> we're gonna go to this little breakfast spot and it's where I went on Sunday when I was with my friends and I'm very excited because it's so cute. It literally feels we like you're in Hawaii. Closed, we thought it was closed but then we came here and she literally turned on the open sign. Yeah. As we walked in. Thank so you, I'm Jesus. very excited. Thank you Jesus. Oh, I'm so That's excited. Good. I'm so hungry. I need coffee. I'm so tired. Yeah.
Is it is it getting you on it? That's actually so good. It is? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm pretty excited about mine. I'm getting a chai latte with vanilla. I I got this yummy. <laughs> she got she not some good. deliciousness. That is and what you get, Layla? It's actually yeah. so good. That's actually really good. That's probably the best latte I've had in my whole life. That's literally like actually um, like, the craziest thing I've ever like, consumed in the back of my life. She's 10 out of 10 right there. <laughs> what is it? Wait, it's come down to Delaware, guys. This is in Delaware, right? We're in Delaware. I don't know. <laughs> we're, uh, I should have got the vanilla. Uh, we are in Delaware. Wow, we're like deep in Delaware too. I think we had a, a show. Yeah. It was like Matt's. Like what yeah. I talk to my. Yeah, you guys want to eat my terrible. potato? I mean, my tomato. Here. And the potato. We have Here. potatoes too. Yeah. We have potatoes. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. So where's the horizon? Where's the sun? It's kind of pretty though. I know how far she'll go. Like, whoop, whoop, whoop. Is it actually alive? Yeah, yeah it is. It looks like it's way like dying though. Oh, good. I feel bad for it. It's also like the ugliest thing I've ever seen. So. Wait, I'm like Atlantic horseshoe crab. Little like bees. Wait, what do their eyes look like? Um, like, like that. That doesn't even look like it. Wow, what's in that mouth? The hair is just like. <laughs> ah. Courtney, guys, get a little video of us frolicking in the water. water. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh my God, like, oh, what? Don't even um, we're just not like the other girls. Awkward. It's on purpose, so it's cute. Yeah, you know? it's funny. Like, it's our joke. It's our humor. Don't yeah. think that we're actually like, not like. Not we're actually really cool. Yeah. 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 guys so it is currently like 9 a.m. in the morning this morning I had a chiropractor appointment I go like once a month just for maintenance of my spine I've been doing that for so long that's just what my family does so I did that and then I came home and my goal is to work out like that's what I'm supposed to be doing right now but then I saw that I got packages in the mail I got this white mini dress and it's kind of like the baby doll style we have the little puff sleeves and then I also got this little bow choker type of necklace which is definitely a little bit different for me but I just really wanted to have it like I saw it on the website and I was like I need that necklace so I got this two-piece swimsuit this is the top and this is the bottom it's like really high-waisted so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it I'm gonna try it on later we'll see if I like it and then I also got a pair of Birkenstocks which are a size too small I sized down because I thought that like they were gonna be big for some reason so I ordered a size 7 instead of a size 8 and they're just a little bit too small but I really really like them I okay so just a little update for you guys 
I was literally about to return the shoes. I printed out the label. I contacted the return team and everything like that. And I was about to return them. But right before I did that, I confirmed with my mom. Cause like I have this thing where I always feel like I have to confirm things with one of my parents before I do anything like that. So I told my mom, I was like, I'm gonna return these shoes. And she was like, try them on i want to see if they look like a new so i tried them on and i was like see they're too small like they don't fit my toes don't go all the way through and then she told me that i had to loosen the strap to like let room for my foot in so i loosened the strap and then it literally fit perfectly so thank you mom for saving me the trouble because i would have returned these shoes got a bigger size realized that they don't fit and then i would have had to get this other size again i got the vegan arizona platform Birkenstocks, I'm trying to think of the exact name, but basically they're like platform and white and very cute And I've never had a pair of Birkenstocks. I used to think they were so ugly Like when my mom would wear them, I would be like mom, what are you wearing? They're literally so ugly, but now I literally want every color. I love them so much Then I got something from Amazon and it is this Okay, I don't know if I want to admit this on the internet I don't know if this is like embarrassing or not, but I've been seeing <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of TikToks about how mouth taping is really good for you which is where you just put like a little piece of medical tape or some sort of tape over your mouth before you go to sleep and it helps you not to like breathe with your mouth open and i feel like by now we all know that mouth breathing is not the best for you you're ideally supposed to breathe out of your nose for your jawline and like your health and apparently you sleep better if you have mouth tape on so i kind of want to try it i don't really know if it's safe or not i think i feel like it is because you're just putting a little piece of tape over your mouth but don't try this just don't don't listen to me because I don't I don't know if it works. I'll be our little guinea pig and I'll keep you updated on whether or not this works for me. And then I also got a PR package. This is from Joan Rhodes Beauty. And I am literally obsessed with this brand. They send me PR all the time. And so many of my makeup products have been converted over to Joan Rhodes Beauty because their products are just so good. So they sent me their gel bronzers, which I'm so excited to try. I'm probably going to try them whenever I do my makeup later today. This is the little pamphlet that they included just talking about their bronzer. So yeah, that is all the packages that I got and now I'm gonna change it to my workout clothes Work out because I'm trying to be consistent with working out and also I'm not gonna have time to work out within the next few days So I'm gonna put on my workout clothes. I, I already said that I'm just gonna go work out I've been feeling productive today like I've been very calm and happy and motivated for the most part but then when I actually think about what I got done I'm like girl what did you do what did you accomplish with your day what are you doing with your life anyway so tonight we have people coming over we're gonna have a little pool party I think they're literally coming in like 10 minutes so yeah I'm not gonna vlog that because this vlog is already getting way too long and then tonight we're gonna go over to Aiden Katie's house which if you don't know they're like me and Emily's best friends they're amazing we're gonna have a little sleepover and then we're gonna be at their house tomorrow helping them out with some stuff hanging out but yeah i really hope that you guys enjoyed this kind of chill random day in my life week in my life type of vlog and let me know if you want to see more videos like this or if you have different video ideas let me know i'm always open to hearing you guys' suggestions and making new videos if you have new video ideas and i hope you have an amazing rest of your day i love you so much and i'll see you in the next video